Welcome to the Black Friday vlog, the biggest shopping day of the entire year, and I am in the trenches. I'm at the mall, I'm finding the deals. My bank account says I spent too much money, but girl math says I saved money. So stay till the end to see how much I spent and how much I saved, and tell me what you think. It is 6 a.m. I don't want to be awake right now, but it's Black Friday, so I have to be. I'm actually excited about it. I'm just, this flash is really bright. I'm just gonna do like a five minute quick makeup routine because I, it's Black Friday. I don't need to be glam or anything. I just want to look a little bit not dead. I ended up doing basically my entire makeup routine, but it only took me 15 minutes, so it's fine. I laid out my clothes last night like I did when I was in high school and it just felt so nostalgic. I have one rule for myself today and it is that I am not allowed to buy any clothes for myself. I literally cannot take one step inside of my closet. So until I film my closet clean out, no clothes for Brie, no clothes. This is the OOTD for today. We have garage sweater, garage pants, my platform Uggs and my Louis Vuitton little backpack bag. Earrings are from Amazon and then I'm pretty sure this necklace is from my fam's Ever Jewels collection from like years ago. Let's go shop. Guys, as soon as I walked in, they started playing Taylor. It's like they knew I was here. Guys, Hart and I haven't discussed Christmas gifts, but I feel like this would be perfect for her. I don't wanna show you guys. Cause I don't trust that she's not gonna watch this, but it's so heavy It's the only thing. I don't wanna carry this around. So maybe I'll come back for it at the end. I've been influenced. Why am I in Abercrombie? I said I wasn't allowed to shop for clothes. I need to get out of here. I just walked in. I didn't even think about it. Why is there a game in here? I'm so confused. Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna buy any clothes, but I'm in a retail right now. This is the only exception, okay? And I'm not even gonna buy it in store. I might buy it online later. I'm just gonna try on my different sizes in this bustier top. Sahara swears by it, so I'm gonna try it. Except I want it in the darker brown and they don't have it, which is honestly a good thing because it stops me from buying it. Also, life hack, if you want a mirror at Aritzia, you just have to request one. Oh God, it looks good. It looks really good. I don't know if I'm strong enough not to get it. Strawberry peach slush. Guys, I've done some damage, but it was time for a little break and I was really hungry, so I got this strawberry peach slushy. So yummy. And I've been wanting to check out this place for so long. Like, this is everything. I'm about to go back out there. I have two more stores I want to go to, so wish me luck. Before we film the haul, I'm changing into these pajamas. <laughs> it feels like Christmas, I'm even in my Christmas pajamas right now. I'm so excited. I could not wait to put these pajamas on and I think they're so cute and I love the color and I just don't have any Christmas pajamas really, so I wanted these. And then we might as well start with La Vienne Rose. I think this is a Canadian brand, so love supporting Canadians. But I actually wanted to get these pajamas for my mom because my mom loves pink, just like me, you know, like mother, like daughter. And I just thought that she would like this style. They're more of the lagging style, which isn't necessarily what I would go for, but my 
my mom loves that style so I figured I would get that for her and I just thought these were so cute and we could both wear our Christmas pajamas on Christmas morning I think I will probably give these to her on Christmas Eve and then I also wanted to get just like the sticky bra because it was on sale and then it was buy one get one free So I was able to get my mom a pair of matching socks and it has an embroidered black cat on here Which me and my mom used to have a black cat and she passed away. I think it was in January So this is like just a little reminder of Asha and it goes with the pajamas I don't know if she's gonna love the black cat if it's gonna be like a morbid reminder or if it's like Cute, wholesome, we'll see, we'll see her reaction. But I feel like this is a cute little Christmas Eve gift for her. Something funny though, I didn't realize, I had these two packages sitting on my desk that I wanted to unbox with this haul. And one of these packages, I'm pretty sure it's this one, is from La Vie en Rose. So I don't know what they sent me. Hopefully not these same pair of pajamas that I'm wearing right now, but I'm really excited to see. A handwritten note, that's crazy. Hey Brianna, we hope this will keep you cozy all season long. We would love to connect with you on DM, on Instagram, and feel free to tag us if you share these pieces on social. We'd love to see. They said cozy, better not be what I'm wearing right now. It's not, it's not. It's so cute though. Oh my gosh, this is such like fluffy, cozy blanket material. And I love that it's so different, like the colors and everything. So I have another pair of festive pajamas. I'm so excited. They're like the same button up style pants and everything as what I'm wearing right now. Just a different pattern and different material. So cute! Thank you, Levy and Rose, and clearly I am also a customer. <laughs> we might as well just do the other package while we're at it and then we'll go back to everything that I bought today. I feel like I'm gonna like cut myself. This is not what I open. <sighs> there we go. Oh, no way! I should have known with how heavy it is. I got a bunch of Alani Nutritions and it's pink. This is gonna look so cute in my fridge. These are the Kim Made Alani by Park Kim K. Hopefully I said that right, but these are so cute. Thank you, Alani Nutrition. And we are back to the haul. Okay, what should I, what should I start with? Let's do this one. Okay, I know I said that I would not buy myself clothes and I, for the most part, kept that true because, okay, pajamas don't count. And it was buy one, get one free. What do you want me to do? Not take a free pair of pajamas? Obviously, I was gonna take them. So, these pajamas don't count. The only other two things, most of this is not for me, but I got two basic t-shirts. What are you gonna do? You're gonna sue me for buying two basic t-shirts? Look at this. That's it. That's it. Oh, wait, and I got a scarf. But this isn't clothes. This doesn't count. But look how cute and cozy this is. I don't really have good scarves. So I was like, I started to realize all of my winter it's a little fluff. I started to realize that all my Pinterest inspo photos, and especially when I was looking at inspo photos for when I was in the UK, all the girlies had these big chunky scarves and it just made their outfit. So I was like, okay, I need a good chunky scarf because my scarves aren't chunky enough. They weren't giving the look that, that this one does. Scarf, not clothing, winter essential, some would say. Basic t-shirt, basic t-shirt. These were like $5, you know? And it was also 25% off. And I have this shirt already in blue and I just love the way that it fits me. So if I like it, I'm gonna get it in another color. Most of what I got is for the boy that I'm dating. This is so fun. I love shopping for like a boyfriend on Christmas because I haven't been able to do that in four years or something like that. And even back then, like we didn't really, I feel like it wasn't a proper gift exchange. I'm like scared to show it though because part of me doesn't trust him not to watch this and that would literally ruin everything. So I might just show a little, a little sneak peek just to play it safe. He says he doesn't watch my videos, but do you guys believe that? Because I'm a little skeptical. I got this first long sleeve shirt. This is the sleeve, okay? I'm only gonna show the sleeves of the items in case he's a liar. But I love this color and he has blue eyes, so I feel like this would really, you know, bring that out. I don't know if he's like an autumn or a spring or a winter, but like I was picturing his skin tone and like his hair color and everything, and I just feel like this color would really flatter him. So I got him this long sleeve shirt. And then he works outside a lot, so I wanted to get him something warm. And his favorite color is green. So I got him another little, this is the sleeve, a little, a little sweatshirt moment. I'm not showing it you guys know why so that is everything i got from h&m <sighs> this was so needed and long overdue i bought so many soaps last year on black friday and i just used them up literally 
I want to say three weeks ago. But I knew that this deal was coming up, so I was like, no, I'm not gonna let myself buy even one. Not even one, because I'm waiting. So I've been using a bar of soap. That is not for me. I, I respect those who like the bar of soap life, not for me. So I'm so happy that I can put that bar of soap away and I have some nice foamy hand soaps that smell magical. First, we have the A Thousand Wishes. To be honest, I didn't even smell most of these. I just looked at the bottle and I followed my gut because at this point my arms were cramping so bad, my back was hurting. I was like, I need to get the f out of here. So I was just like grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. I was like, okay, to the front. <laughs> this just looks like a scent that I would like. And look at the sparkles. I wanted that on my counter. I also may have bought this one for the packaging because it just looks so like, Sleek. I don't know. I liked it. It looks sophisticated and also love a coffee scent I was a little thrown off by the whiskey, but I just I still think I'm gonna like it the next two You can um give your guesses as to why you think I picked these they're pink We all know we all know the answer. It's because they're pink also twisted peppermint I know I love a good peppermint soap. So that felt pretty safe pink tinsel petals No idea what it smells like but it sounds yummy, right? Champagne toast. I have had this one before this one's like my go-to I always have to get this one. I feel like this is a very popular scent from Bath and Body Works So yeah, I'm not unique. I just like I just like the basic sense. But it's yummy. What do you want? Me fighting the invisible hate comments that I'm probably not even gonna get. Toasted vanilla chai. Does that not sound delicious? So I think this is the soap I'm going to use now because this is the most holiday one. So we're gonna put this out and then eventually the rest of them will get used. And it was buy three, get three free. See, this is why I waited. It was worth suffering with a bar of soap for three weeks. Next we have our small but mighty most expensive bag. Isn't that crazy that this is the most expensive bag? I did a little bit of splurging here. I only got four items. Originally I was gonna get five, but why were some of the items not even on sale? When I picked up the elephant bronzy drops, I thought I saw a sign that said 30% off. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm getting that. And then once I got to the front, they're like, no sale. This is full price. And I was like, okay, I don't need it that bad. So I put it back, but the only Full price item I did buy was this Givenchy powder because I'm always just on the lookout for a really good powder and I do like the Huda Beauty one that I've been using, but a lot of people have been saying this is better, so I wanted to try it. So we got the Givenchy powder, there's different shades. I got shade number two. Next we have the Fenty contour stick. This is just like me repurchasing what I already use. I love the contour stick and you know, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Unless unless it's powder, then I, then I want better. If you guys have any other contour recommendations though, let me know because maybe after this one, I will try something new. I also just replaced my Anastasia, Anastasia? Brow pencil and I got the color taupe. I think this is also taupe. No, nope, this is amber, but brow pencil, I don't know. I know it's good, so I just buy it. And then I've never tried their brow freeze styling wax before, so I got that as well. It was, I think this was 50% off maybe? So you know what, I'm a sucker for a deal. I'm genuinely upset by how quickly we're going through this. But I stopped into Aldo Accessories because I just love a good accessory store. And I picked out a couple things. I just, I can't justify really expensive jewelry because I'm always losing it. Like my earrings last me six months max because I'll only have one. Do you know how many? One single earrings I have in my jewelry box right now. It's sad. So I will stick to my gold plated jewelry because you can still shower with gold plated. The first thing I got is this little sparkly bracelet. I thought this was so cute. It's obviously meant to look like the Van Cleef bracelets a little bit, but I, I just want this for an event. You know, I'm not gonna have this as my everyday bracelet, but just if it's my birthday or like something cool, some kind of cool event, I'll spice up my outfit with a little extra sparkle. These rings are also a little bit of a Van Cleef doof. These rings are also a little bit of a Van Cleef doof, doof. These rings are also a little bit of a Van Cleef doof. Oh my God, guys, I have said this four times. I can't, Van Cleef dupe. That was so hard. The final thing I got from Aldo was just these little dangly earrings with the bows on top. Is this not the cutest little event earring you've ever seen? I don't know what I'm wearing on my birthday yet, but I might have to wear these because they're just so fun. If not, I'll wear them on New Year's because they're just so sparkly and cute and I love them. <laughs> I should have bought more. My arms were literally feeling like they were gonna fall off, but I should have bought more. It's okay, I'm gonna do Cyber Monday, but we have two things left. One, I noticed that was the most common deal I saw was just a lot of buy one, get one freeze, which 
I'm not really mad at that. That's like 50% off. I'll take it. So I got this hat, but I didn't try it on because I'm so terrified of lice. I had it once as a kid and it was genuinely the worst experience of my entire life. So I refuse to try on hats now. So I'm gonna have to wait like 48 hours until I try this on. But hopefully it sits well in my head. I'm a little nervous about it, but it just would go so well with so many of my little puffer jackets. And the last thing I got was also for the boy. So I don't wanna show it. Okay, I'll show you guys eventually or I'll tell you guys eventually, but for now, we're just, we're gonna leave it a secret because I just really want it to be a surprise. <laughs> See, my mom, I trust her not to watch the videos. She already asked if she's allowed to watch it and I said no, and I trust her, she's not gonna watch it. But, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, I love you guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you also did Black Friday shopping, comment down below what you got, and roughly, you know, how much you spent, how much you saved, I'll put my numbers on the screen right now. But yeah, tell me all about your Black Friday, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!